The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way Hoping that the switch Fisk you, Nick Soldier Fisk you, Nick Soldier What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. All right, check it. The Giants are favored in this football game by a field goal. Earlier, it was three and a half. I think it's three the last time I checked. Which goes to show you that Vegas, the people who build casinos, the people who get rich off this, they still believe in the Giants. Okay? A sucker's born every day. That's a fact. A sucker is born every day. So they're going to be stupid motherfuckers out there who think the Bears are going to beat the, the Giants. With a quarterback that can't complete a forward pass. But smart people like the Fisk unit know good and damn well that Wink Martindale ain't losing to no quarterback who can't complete a forward pass. Now, our offense is filth. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and lie to y'all and say Daniel Jones is going to throw three, 400 yards. This is a get right game for the Giants. What are we getting right? Like I told, like, like Pizzle and I was talking about on Giants Outsiders. On Wednesday or on our podcast, David Sills, Richie James, Darius Slayton, they are what they are. You can't make them better. They are what they are. There is no such thing as a get right for the Giants. Maybe there's a get right for the defense. Kayvon Thibodeau can play better. Ojalari can play better. Yeah, there's a get right for the defense. Uh, 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 Jackson, who was getting ate the hell up on, on Monday, he could play better. Sure. But the offense is what it is. Saquon had a big touchdown run. Daniel Jones had 80 rushing yards. He did his best. There's no getting right when your skill position plays. It is terrible. There is. So while I think the Giants will dominate this game, I expect it to be low scoring. Uh, this is going to be one of those. <sighs> Can either team get the 20? Damn, I might go Giants. I think we good for one touchdown. We can get one. So if we get one touchdown, three field goals, that's 16 points. I'm going to go Giants 19-13. I, I think 19-13. I think the Giants can win 19-13. Four field goals and a touchdown makes sense. Because I, I think Justin Fields is going to give us a lot of short fields. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. I think Justin Fields is going to give us a lot of short fields. I think we're good for at least two interceptions. <clears throat> the way we're going to blitz him, you know what? I can't say that because they don't throw the ball enough. I think we'll get one interception. We're going to get at least one. I think we get at least one interception, maybe a fumble because they're going to run the ball 35 fucking times with uh, Khalil Herbert. I don't know if David Montgomery's playing. I don't think he is. But, you know, we'll see. It's going to be the Khalil Herbert show. 1913. <sighs> yeah, 1913. I think the Giants can muster up at least one touchdown somehow. And then the Bears. Everybody, if you can't score a touchdown, you sorry. So I think each team will have a fluke drive where they complete a couple play action passes. Saquon have a big run. Khalil Herbert have a big run. One of, one of our sorry ass receivers. These might be the two sorriest receiving cores in the entire NFL with the Giants and the Bears. They are receiving cores or make a couple plays, at least one drive, and that'll be the one touchdown a piece we score. So, yeah. <clears throat> 1913 makes sense. And, you know, while I got your attention, Giants fans, the Giants are going to be favored in about at least seven to eight more games this season. All right, so I know a lot of people have been shitting on the Giants or losing faith because we lost to 
the Cowboys. Well, let's run this schedule down real quick. So we beat the Bears, right? So we beat the Bears. That puts us at 3-1. and one. All right, we beat the Bears. We're 3-1. and one. Now, here's the deal. The Giants will be dogs to the Bears. I mean, I'm sorry, to the Packers in London. Okay, we'll be dogs there. We'll be home dogs to the Ravens. All right? So let's just say we lose those two games, Giants fans. So we lose those two games. We'll be favored. No, we'll be dogs at Jacksonville. Let's say we lose at Jacksonville. If we lose at Jacksonville, Giants fans, that'll put us at three and four. We're going to be favored at Seattle. That'll put us at four and four. Then we go on a bye week. We come home. We're favored against the Texans, five and four. We're favored against the Lions, six and four. At Dallas, they own us. I don't give a fuck who's quarterback. That's a loss. We won't be favored that game. So now we're six and five. Okay? We'll be favorites home versus the commanders. We're seven and five. We'll be dogs to the Eagles. That's a loss. We're seven and six. We'll be favored at the commanders. Eight and six. At Minnesota, we probably gonna be dogs. That's eight and seven. Home for the Colts. We're favored that game. That's nine and seven. At Philly, we'll be dogs. You want to say we'll lose to Philly? Fine. That's nine and eight. And that's getting swept by the Eagles. I personally, Giants fans, think we're going to split with the Eagles, which will put us at 10 and seven for the season. So why did Fitz Vegas just run that down in a preview show? It's because y'all need to be excited for the Bears game. Y'all need to bring that same energy y'all had on Monday night, Giants fans. Bring that to the, to the Bears game on Sunday because this Giants team is still going to win a shitload of games. This Giants team was not going anywhere. We have a good defense. We got Saquon. We got Danny. And hopefully we get Tony back. Shit will be fine. We're not some piece of shit poverty franchise that's going to lose. I just ran down the schedule. We're going to be favored in seven more games. Seven. We will be favored in seven games going forward. If we were so sorry, if we were so bummish, we wouldn't be favored in seven games going forward. So this Bears game is important. We need to make sure the team knows that we still believe in them. Make sure the players at MetLife know that we still got their back and we ain't throwing in the towel after the Dallas loss because we still have a lot of potential this season. Still a lot of W's to come this season. And I want to give a shout-out to Daniel Jones, the anointed one, the chosen one, the one who fell from the sky to deliver the New York football giants from evil. I want to give him a compliment. Because we are a sorry ass team. If you if you think the Giants are sorry, then Daniel Jones is the only reason we win. So if the Giants are a sorry team, right? If we're the worst two and one team in NFL history, if we're the worst whatever you want to say in NFL history when we're winning these games, we're only winning because of number eight. So put some respect on his fucking name. Because if we had a lesser quarterback, we'd be doing 39 QB sneaks. I ain't got nothing else to say. Let's beat the shit out of these bears. Get right and keep it pushing. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.